Friday nights in Buda and karaoke in community. You can't walk down the street without someone honking their car. Bonds made even stronger during tragedy. Everyone on my Facebook feed was reaching out to to other members of the community asking for love and support. Kim Fannin hosts karaoke night at Willie's Joint and is a parent of two students at Tom Green Elementary. We're strong. That Hornet is strong. Neither of her children were involved in last Friday's bus crash, but she says it still hits close to home. I had to just put eyes on my own kid and uh, give them hugs and make sure that they were okay. While she's glad to see 42-year-old Jerry Hernandez, the driver of the concrete truck, charged for allegedly being sleep deprived and under the influence of drugs, she says the two-year max sentence criminally negligent homicide carries isn't enough. Both 33-year-old Ryan Wallace and 5-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya died in the crash. One was a preschooler. That family's life has irrevocably changed. The bus involved in last week's crash did not have seat belts, but Hayes CISD says within three weeks, all of its buses will be equipped with seat belts. The visuals as a parent, when you think of a rollover accident and that, and you know that these kids are not restrained properly, is, is terrifying. But she wants to see accountability from the state too, especially as Buda continues to grow. There's a lot of growth that's happening in this community and we need to make sure that we're doing it in a responsible way that really focuses on safety for the community at large. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.